everybody, I'm Tom Basso. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're going to talk about my top 10 favorite games about zoos, or in this case, very specifically, running a zoo. And this is even kind of tricky because there's very few games that that's the whole point of the game. In fact, there's going to be a few games that aren't on my list because they're just card games, or they're, they're very, very ambiguous. And, and in fact, I had to include a subgenre here because this is about running a zoo. It doesn't mean that the animals necessarily exist on Earth. In other words, there's going to be some dinosaur zoos on this list. There's also a couple zoo games, only a couple that I have not played. And the f this is like a wide open genre. People like zoos. They like the idea of running a zoo with animals. People like animals. So I hope to see more of these. But here we go. Number 10 is the only, I think, roll and write on this list, and that's Welcome to Dino World. This is one of uh, a few dinosaur games on the list. Uh, in Welcome to Dino World, you are drawing up a little spot, rolling dice and putting dinosaurs into a park, drawing the walls, the electric fences and things. It's definitely Jurassic Park, the roll and write game. I like this one. It is it is complex compared to many roll and write games. A lot of those are pretty simple, but it's also pretty thematic. How you put the dinosaurs in is very specific. Which dinosaurs, how you put them in pens. So number 10, welcome to Dino World. Number nine is Wonder Zoo. Now this is one a lot of people probably haven't heard of. This is a Tetris style game or a polyomino game, in fact, is not the only one of those on this list, where you're placing them into a park and how you place them in, filling them in. There's not a lot of strong zoo theme here other than that the animals are all on the polyominoes. When you're done, you're like, look at my park that I built. Wonder Zoo. Number eight is Ozulamio. Now, this is the oldest game on my list, and this was the first zoo game that I got. In fact, it came in a round cylinder container, which, by the way, is very annoying. Um, but at the time, I was like, wow, it's a zoo game. There's blind bidding in this game, and you put tiles together a little bit like Carcassonne and having benches and things. This is not a strong contender on the list now, but back in the day, I really did enjoy this one, Ozula Mio. Number seven, back to dinosaurs, we have Dinogenix. Dinogenix has some of the coolest looking dinosaurs that there are, especially if you add in their expansion. And there's water dinosaurs and flying dinosaurs, pterodactyls. And in this one, you're building a park. Now this is again, another game based on Jurassic Park. Although the animals breaking out is not really that strong of a threat. It can happen in this game and there's mutant dinosaurs and such. This one, there's another dinosaur game on my list that people always ask me to compare the two. This one is the lower ranked of the two, but this one, I think, has a very strong theme. Um, so there's still a few problems I have with this game. I think you have to do hotels in this game. I feel like there's a few things you have to do, but it still is solid and fun. And if you like the Jurassic Park theme at all, then you'll want to play Dinogenics. Number six is Zuloretto. Now, Zuloretto is based on a small card game that was extremely popular called Coloretto. In Coloretto, you just put piles of three cards out or took a pile and scored points. Zuloretto is the same thing. You have trucks. You're slowly placing animals in those trucks, or you take a truck with animals on it. It's just kind of like a push, you know, kind of a, uh, you go first. Oh, I'll go first. You go first. Uh, but then you put the animals in your zoo. Very fun. Looks like a zoo. It's a lightweight Euro game, in fact, won the Spiel des Jahres, uh, the game of the year in Germany years ago. And there's a lot of expansions for this, a lot of expansions that add more animals, baby animals, things like that. It's worth getting Zuloretto. Number five is a family weight game called Zoo Break. In this game, well, there's a, animals are getting out. There's little wooden animals, they're all escaping the zoo, and you need to stop them from escaping out of the gate. If a few small animals escape, that's fine, not too many. A couple big animals escape, you lose. So you're just running around. It's very similar to games like Pandemic and other things like that, where these animals are moving around. You gotta go capture them, get them back in their cages, and then close permanently the gates of the cages. How did all those animals get out at the same time? I don't know. But it's a fun, really strong thematic game, Zoo Break. Number four is very animal specific, just one animal. Bears, Baron Park. This is another polyomino game where you're placing these 
Uh, Polly Alma's out and building your own bear park. I've never been to a bear park. I would go to one, though. I like bears. Um, and in this game, you have different tiles. It's, it's more about the placement of tiles. But Phil Walker Harding, the designer of this game, does an excellent job at taking a few simple mechanisms and making a great game out of them. And Baron Park is no exception to that as you're filling in these different areas and building up your bear park. Number three is the last dinosaur game on this list, and that is Dinosaur Island. Like I said, I think Dinogenic's theme is a little bit stronger, but Dinosaur Island is the better game. In Dinosaur Island, you're rolling some dice, using those dice to get genes, and then using those genes to get dinosaurs into your park, while at the same time hoping that there isn't an overrun thing in your park. This game also has some amusement park rides, shops, but it's a really solid game. I'm actually pretty pumped about Dinosaur World, which in a few months is actually going to be out on shelves, so you may see us talking about that. That's the reason that one hasn't made the list, in case you're watching this at the end of 2021 and saying, you need to talk about Dinosaur World. Well, it's not out as of right now, but it's the sequel to Dinosaur Island, and I'm really looking forward to it. Number two is the game I think that most people should have heard of but haven't, and that's called the Sanctuary Endangered Species. In this, you're building... Not so much a zoo, I mean kind of a zoo, a sanctuary, I felt it was close enough. And you're just trying to get different endangered animals in it. Using a moving around, collecting cards. The best way to describe this game is say, go watch my review. It's such a unique, interesting game with great artwork, a cool theme about rescuing endangered animals, finding a place for them to be. Man, I, I really wish this game got more buzz because it's such a neat idea. has a really cool cover. Just the whole thing is neat. The only part about it is there's a lot going on in this game. It's not necessarily a light game by any means, but it's worth checking out. So number two, The Sanctuary, Endangered Species. And number one on my list is New York Zoo. The last polyomino game on this list, but I think this one has the strongest zoo feeling. I like Baron Park, but New York Zoo, you're actually putting little animals of different types in this zoo, whether they be penguins or lemurs or whatever they are. So you are using a rondelle method as you move around in a circle, collecting tiles, putting them in your zoo, trying to be the first person to fill your zoo up completely. It's a race. It's from Uwe Rosenberg. He's made a lot of these different games out there. I think this might be the best of this style that he's done. And it also uses a theme I really like. The artwork and pieces are great. So this really brings the zoo to life for me. So those are my 10 favorite zoo games. What are yours? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> really, this is not a crowded genre at all. So publisher designers, give us more zoo games. We want them. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.